Hi, everyone. So, uh, yeah. so I'm going to speak in English. So since I am a language right now, uh, so this is uh, I'm Tommy, a solution architect, uh, specialized in uh, But actually, what I do is uh, on a daily basis with customers, native architectures uh, with uh, say Kubernetes and uh, serverless technology. Okay, so today's topic is about uh, the gateway AP. Uh, if any one of you are familiar with, but uh, so for the audience here, you can just raise a hand if you are a Kubernetes user. Just, just, just to be aware. Okay, we got some users. Uh, so I assume the rest are not really familiar with Kubernetes or or maybe just start right. Uh, but doesn't really matter. I, I will try to uh keep it as simple. It is, uh, since uh, okay, um, so Kubernetes is uh, that uh, at Google we open source uh, back in two thousand four. So uh, basically, it's you can imagine is uh, is uh, external station how Google run a global distributed uh, infrastructure across uh, multiple fleets of uh, uh, computer machines. So. Uh, since uh, 2014 up to uh, now, we are still a contributor. According to the CNCF, let's also uh, have heard about there's a gateway resource with DLD basically is a custom resource definition. Uh, after to integrate with that, we'll cover that a bit uh, later uh, in this talk. Uh, basically, we GA the, our own implementation uh, from uh, the cluster version 1.16 onwards. So uh, I'll just share a bit of the history of the. So it's been around in 2015, uh, version 1.1. 1 .1. So it's been around at a version of V1 beta 1 for quite a few years until 2021. So that's almost that's two years ago uh, to become a version 1. Uh, we see there's a huge uh, uptake of this. Uh, multiple uh, vendors, or you have uh, used things like the Nginx uh, controller. So implementation is for the Ingress uh, API. But at the same time, we see that a lot of limitations and challenges uh, comes with the API uh, over the years. So this is a simple uh, configuration of the Ingress. Uh, so basically, it does the basic thing. You, you say you want to expose a web service across the internet uh, from Kubernetes. And uh, it does things like uh, um, TLS, uh, HTTPS. Uh, also, the basic things like virtual host uh, path matching uh, service that hosting on Kubernetes. Uh, a huge uh, ecosystem of controllers they can choose from. For this is an example. Uh, so it's very simple, just expose the port 80. Limitations, uh, uh, since the API is too simple, um, any missing features there, for example, like traffic splitting or the matching uh, things, uh, just a single developer would uh, codify that could be uh, from the platform team or maybe you got some networking person in, in your company. So it's really difficult to, to share this with responsibility uh, with for uh, ingress okay so what's next so therefore we are advocating the gateway api in the open source uh, is the, the version 2 of the ingress api so there's a quite a key goals we want to achieve here so orientated as i said you can share the configuration across uh, developers, uh, operators, or DevOps team, or the platform, or the, your, your network. And uh, the Gateway API is, of course, it's open source, though, and we try to make it more uh, portable. So uh, the missing features will be exposed through the API as well. And then you get the, uh, you can uh, uh, define a gateway object, uh, but uh, say the cluster admin can do that, and then you can have different uh, development teams to have their own uh, HTTP routing uh, according to say the host name, the, the path or the header, uh, all the, the things that you do. 
the backend services that attach to that. So if I compare the ingress and the HTTP route object, they're quite similar uh, by looking at this. So the gateway API would enable newer features. So as I said, like header, method, query, parameter matching, can do cross namespace routing, which is really useful for multi-tenancy. Uh, more advanced filtering, uh, rewrites or the URL, and also can do weighted traffic splitting. So that's like canary deployment. Uh, A-B testing would be recall for some of the folks. So uh, version and 90% uh, of traffic to the existing version. So that's to ensure that you have a safe uh, rollout uh, of your service. And I'm going to run through a demonstration with this uh, architecture. So basically, uh, uh, I've got a, a, a few clusters that have, have a gateway defined. And uh, using an external load balancer with a gateway class, I've got uh, two different namespace. One is a store namespace. and a and in the store namespace, I'm going to show you how to do header matching. So you can send a canary header as a HTTP header, basically, and you will route to a version two. And there's a site um, namespace with a site service, and I'm going to show you how to do canary uh, rollout with that. Okay. So uh, this is just a list of gateway classes. Uh, just to mention, they are available on uh, GCP, uh, and so you can. Global balancer or external global global balancer. Uh, even we got uh, with, uh, with uh, our managed Istio uh, enforcer. But uh, I'm not going to cover so much on that. But uh, I will show you uh, how to do the external balancer. Okay. okay. Just switch to other tab here. Okay. So basically, just so this is uh, my uh, GCP environment. I've got my but I'm not going to use all the clusters, but I'm going to use uh, a cluster here is called a GCP cluster DUV. It's just a development cluster. Uh, there's a production cluster called cluster one, and now we're going to use uh, another cl a cluster on it. And then I've got service version. But I'll just do a curl request to that just just to uh, show you how how that works. I've got a script here. I just send uh, a request with a whole well, uh, name of store.example.com that goes to version. Basically, it's just this. on a port. So basically, I, I've got, I, I just got a clear bit on uh, their like routing to different ports. This is the, this is the hash, hash of the name and this uh, call method to the emoji to make sure define uh, uh, to do the canary uh, as in traffic splitting uh, for, with uh, HTTP route. So what it does is I've got a pipeline. Uh, so I, you don't have to read too much of a detail, but I just want to tell you that uh, I've got the reference from the, the deployment pipeline. It tells it to, to lock the, the site route of the HTTP route from the gateway API. And then I just want to send a canary traffic of 20% to the new version. And uh, for the rest, just keep the older version. And I can just run through this automation deployment pipeline to, to enable that. Um, so we do a rollout from, this is my uh, dev cluster, and this is my uh, production cluster. There's one at GCP, there's another one at Just uh, do a multiple rollout to, to both traffic splitting. So you can see the, the target, you get this shit again. <laughs> the, was some predefined. So I can just uh, go to my uh, GCP cluster. 
uh, the production one. This is our loop of uh, training requests on the site uh, host. And then uh, just see how the traffic split while the canary uh, and okay, send traffic. The uh, basically uh, most dot two dot nineteen. So that's where the yellow emoji so, uh, with the port name. Uh, as you see, there's another uh, icon here. I'm not sure I love fairy tale. Yeah. Um, that here, and you can see roughly. Gets uh, split to the to the to the canary version, the new version, and then you can that will be using a different uh, gateway class. There's uh, one thing I'll need to show you here. If go back here. Okay, so there's a gateway uh, uh, defined this various cluster. So in the GCP cluster, uh, I'll just demonstrate. Uh, there's a gate. Let's go look to the specification section. There's more than only statuses, but uh, so you can see. For the GCP cluster, I'm using a, a global uh, layer seven external load balancer uh, gateway class. And then on the AWS clusters, Let's go to the gateway class uh, field. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, here. It's using Istio as the gateway uh, controller. So actually Istio supports the gateway API today, but not fully. Uh, I will tell you what's the limitation in a, sh in, in a short moment, but to let, let you just let us see how that works with the other clusters, uh, just to get the, uh, my cheat sheet again. So it's very similar the request, but that goes to the uh the B on on the other cloud. So let's clear this up. Okay. So you can see some traffic goes to the canary version, but I'll just run it again. Yes, it's this. 20% but that's on more on an average basis but you see you almost get like 10 20% of the traffic goes to the canary version even on the other cloud but that's using the Istio uh, gateway controller okay so that's pretty much what I just demonstrate here let's get back to the concept and just finish that off uh, so I know I've got five minutes okay thank you for the reminder yeah, but before I talk about the Istio part, uh, I just want to mention that uh, today at GCP, you can do multi-cluster gateway routing. So you can have like multiple cluster, maybe run this, for this example, run this running in Europe West 8, uh, the other one running in Europe West 3. So maybe some try this will go to Italy, some of the try to go to Germany, but for the same store. So you can use the same load balancer, the same gateway, but like have different routing to different clusters. This is more an like advanced feature uh, for gateway API on uh, GCP. Yeah. Okay, so with Istio, uh, if you are familiar with Istio, uh, you might have deal dealt with some uh, custom resource, for example, like the uh, in the Istio API, there's a gateway, gateway object again, <laughs> but this gateway object is not the same as the Kubernetes gateway API, it's a bit different because that's based on uh, the Istio open source project, right? But anyway, if you want to do uh, expose a gateway, you need to not just do the left-hand side, that's just the gateway definition for Istio, but on the right-hand side, you need to do the uh, ingress gateway deployment manually. So it's user synchronized here. But since I said uh, there's some level of support of the gateway API uh, in within Istio, so you can just define uh, the Kubernetes gateway uh, uh, object with a gateway class of Istio, and then uh, the service and the deployment are automatically uh, done by 
the, uh, the, the controller behind the scenes. So basically on the right hand side, you don't have to codify that. It, it's deployed for you automatically. What you need to do is just to uh, config the left hand side, whereas the gateway API with the Istio uh, class name there. Okay, so just to show you really quickly on the screen uh, what that means. So you can see I've got the uh, uh, Istio uh, running on the other cloud cluster. So you see there's a deployment called external HTTP as Istio, basically that's the Istio ingress. And then there's a corresponding uh, service exposed from that. So this uh, that's so that probably seems the ELB on the other cloud. Um, but uh, you don't have to codify this. It's done for you from the Istio controller. So it deployed that automatically for you. You don't have to deploy this. Uh, so this just to show you what's in real um, in, in on screen. Okay, so go back to here. Okay, let's finish that off. <laughs> a few more points here. So uh, as I said, there's some limitation with the gateway API with Istio today, but that will be addressed uh, along the way in the next maybe one or two years, uh, I believe. Uh, so whatever, uh, because Istio has a, a, a much richer feature set for uh, service mesh networking. Uh, and, and the gateway API initially is dealing with more the, the ingress style of the networking that's like the north-south traffic, what we say, but service mesh is like the east-west traffic routing. So there could be some scenario where the Istio features are not available with the gateway API. So what we can do is uh, uh, the gateway API itself, the specification has, uh, has some provision for like extensions. So whatever is still features not available for for, account, for example like this that destination rules, um, that can be uh, plugged into the gateway API, and uh, and also a part of this uh, open source project uh, there uh, we will see there will be toolings to help uh, migrate some existing Istio CRD resource into the gateway API resources, and uh, what's the future? Uh, optimistically, we believe. Most of the Istio stuff can be part of the gateway API, uh, but of course we want to have uh, combat ability. Uh, as if you have been using Istio, you may be familiar with virtual service, uh, the Istio gateway, and also there's some destination rules that are the objects. Uh, they will stick along for a long time. It's just similar to the ingress uh, API in the Kubernetes, so we can still continue to support that. And also there's a new uh, work screen that's a supported part of the gateway API project it's called Gamma. And that's just basically just help to strengthen the integration between the gateway API and Istio project. So this is just a, a summary of what you can do today. And basically just I demonstrated uh, previously. So on the right side, you can do that on GCP with the gateway uh, controller available there with GK. On the left side, if you need to deploy on, say, other cloud, maybe uh, they haven't got their own controller implementation, then you can try to use Istio for that. And here, there's some more resources for you to learn. Maybe you can just take a screen uh, uh, photo of this. Uh, uh, just go to this link so you can learn more. Uh, just want to highlight the last link. It's called Learn Kubernetes with Google.com. Uh, we cover quite a lot of uh, Kubernetes topics, not just the gateway API, but there's like uh, jobs, uh, there's other stuff as well. So basically, uh, just uh, want to say thank you uh, for listening. But just to show you, this is just the website. So there's uh, uh, various topics within Kubernetes, and we keep releasing some live events here. So feel free to join uh, all this webinar. Uh, it's just uh, there will be more upcoming. But anyway. Thank you for uh, listening, and I uh, hope you have uh, oh, well, enjoyed the rest of the day at the open source uh, conference. Thank you.